All right, guys, so the fourth inning program is officially here. All the moments are live. The Griffey moments are also up there, so you can do that and get 30 program stars. You can win your 10 online games to get your 30 program stars there. And then, of course, with every new program, we have a new conquest board. But this conquest board is just a little bit different than the other conquest boards we've had. This is the first conquest board in the show 19 that actually involves a little bit of turn-based conquest. Now, I'm going to explain what that means. I'm going to explain how to beat this and how to, you know, get through this. So you can get all of these goals done so you can get your 30 program stars. And you just really don't have to think too hard about it. Like, I think it's just an unfamiliar mission that people like haven't seen before. So people are like freaking out like, what does this mean in one turn? How do I do this? It's not as hard as it sounds. It's pretty simple. You just got to know exactly what you're doing. So like I said, this board features some elements of the turn based conquest play style. Now, basically what that means is they want you to do specific tasks before a certain turn. So if you guys look in the bottom right corner of the screen right now where it says game details, it says we're on turn one. So a conquest turn consists of four different phases. You've got the attack phase, which we're currently on. By the way, you can see what phase you're on in the bottom left corner of the screen right now. So it says we're on attack. Um, so basically what the attack phase is, you guys probably know at this point, you pretty much can attack uh, territories, go after strongholds, simulate games, and basically like move around and spread out on the map and try to get as many territories as you can. The attack phase is pretty simple. Then you're going to have the steel fans phase. The steel fans phase is basically you can go uh, decide to steal fans from any of the teams that are on the conquest board and take a specific amount of fans depending on what difficulty you're playing on. Then when you get to the reinforce phase, it takes how many spots you have on the board plus how many fans you just stole and it gives you a certain amount of fans to reinforce into one of your territories by the next round and last but not least you have the move fans phase where if you have fans in a certain spot and you want to move them to a different territory you can do that there all four of those phases make up one turn in conquest so when you're playing a turn-based conquest you have to do a specific task by a certain turn so you have to be able to utilize those four phases in an effective way there was a game mode in MLB the show 18 last year called conquest extreme and it was kind of of the same idea you had to capture strongholds by a certain turn or you had to do this by a certain turn or whatever and uh, I think the fact that they're adding these goals right here into this conquest board is kind of them opening the door and putting their foot in there um, saying like hey conquest extreme might be coming so this is kind of you know a little a little warm-up as to what you might be expecting with that trying to get people familiar with the concept of turn-based conquest so that way when conquest extreme comes in the game everybody's not freaking out all the time because this really isn't that difficult it's just a matter of understanding what you need to do so right here you have to capture the arizona diamondback stronghold in one turn so let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that so remember you got to do this by one turn so you're going to have to do this in the first attack phase because that is the only time we're going to be able to move people around in turn one so here we go um we're going to go straight for the Arizona Diamondbacks right here. We're starting off with 12 million fans, and we're going down. And then we're getting to this point where we have 9 million fans versus their 1 million fan, okay? So this is really, really a big spot on the board. If you're really, really not confident or you're really worried about it, you can go ahead and play this game 9-1. to one. This is going to give you the opportunity to play on Rookie. But no matter if you play on Rookie or if you simulate the game, you have to walk out of this matchup with at least 7 million fans. So right now, if I went to simulate it, it's 8 million versus 1 million, and the Diamondbacks may go crazy and take 2 or 3. I'm going to have to restart if that's the case, if you want to get both the Diamondbacks and the Cubs done in one turn, okay? So we're going to go ahead and simulate the game. Let's see what happens. Great. Couldn't have asked for anything better there, to be honest. So now we have 8 million fans in this territory versus the Arizona Diamondbacks' 6 million fans. So let's go ahead and see what the matchup would be. We'd be playing on All-Star, okay? All-Star difficulty, you should be able to beat the Diamondbacks on All-Star difficulty. It shouldn't be that hard. And then you, from there, you can go ahead and finish that stronghold up. So once you win this game 
between the you and the Diamondbacks for the actual stronghold, that should complete goal one of capturing the Arizona Diamondbacks stronghold in one turn. But there's also goal two and goal three. Capture the Chicago Cubs stronghold in one turn, and then uh, goal three is capture the Houston Astros stronghold. So the reason I said you need to have at least 8 million fans in this territory is because once you beat the Arizona Diamondbacks, you'll be now listed with seven, and from there, you can actually go from the Diamondbacks straight to the Cubs you're gonna have a couple simulated games right here that you might want to play just to make sure that you're not gonna get screwed by the simulation and then from there you should be able to make it to the Cubs with either like two or one fans left and remember this is all in the same attack phase from turn one so if you're trying to get both the Diamondbacks and the Cubs done in one go you can't get a steel fans phase or a move phase or anything in between taking in those two strongholds you have to do it all in the same phase so that's why i said you might want to play these games right here where it says you can simulate them just to make sure that you're getting out of there with the right amount of fans because the last thing you want to do is you want to win this stronghold with seven million fans you go here you get six million five million four million um, and then you have this one to simulate and then they end up taking like 3 million of your fans and then you can't even get the Cubs in the same round. Now, if you don't really want to worry about that, what you can do, which is actually what I did, is you can just go ahead and take the Diamondbacks stronghold right here and then you can move around on the board and start moving towards the Astros and then you can actually go ahead and skip to turn two. One of the goals in here, though, is to steal 4 million fans, so I would recommend stealing some fans from the Astros. If you want to do it on Hall of Fame to get the full 4 million, you can do that, um, but that's going to make their stronghold less effective, so it should be able to be played on an easier difficulty after that. But by that point, you'll be able to be playing it on the second turn of the Conquest board. So basically, you can go ahead and take out the Diamondbacks, you can go ahead and do the steal fans, the reinforce and the move, and then take out the uh, Houston Astros, and you'll get the credit for goal one and goal three but you wouldn't have taken out the Chicago Cubs now that's the route that I did so basically if you're in that situation you're gonna have to complete the entire board you're gonna have to do the whole entire thing and then once you're done you're gonna have to restart the board and then you're gonna have to play that game against the Cubs you're basically gonna do exactly what you did when you went straight down towards the Astros or I'm sorry the the Arizona Diamondbacks and then you're just gonna do the same thing and go against the Chicago Cubs I'm gonna go ahead and restart the board and just kind of show you guys exactly exactly what I mean by that so basically I would restart the board once I completed the entire thing I got all the other goals completed I captured the Houston Astros stronghold by turn two um, conquered 50 territories I had the 50 million fans I stole the 4 million fans captured four strongholds 100 territories capture all the strongholds all the territories all that stuff I have all of that done so that should leave you the last thing of goal two which would be to capture the Chicago Cubs stronghold in one turn all you got to do is just um, restart the board boom and then you can go straight to the chicago cubs right here and it's going to work exactly the same as the arizona diamondbacks did you don't really have to worry about this simulated game as much because you know they're probably not going to take eight million fans from you so you beat them right there and then seven to six this should be on all-star and then you just got to beat the chicago cubs on all-star you just have to play the cubs twice basically because you had to restart the board and play an extra game so that's that's the only difference right there between doing them this is the way that i did it i just kind of wanted to get through the board as fast as possible without having to play a ton of different games on all-star Hall of Fame. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the idea of turn-based conquest. Conquest Extreme will be a little bit more in depth. It'll be like, you know, capture all of the American League West teams by turn six or something like that. And it'll be a whole another USA board, the, the same one that you will get with uh, the Ty Cobb. It'll be basically the same thing. And it'll say capture uh, the American League East by turn four. And you basically have to make your way towards the East. You have to play certain games that aren't necessarily the stronghold games. And then, you know, you just got to do all this stuff over here. And it can get a little bit difficult because there are some games you're going to have to play on Hall of Fame and maybe Legend and stuff like that. But, um... It shouldn't be too bad, especially with, um, you know, Conquest being the way it is this year. The nice thing about Conquest Extreme, though, if they add it back into the game, that should give you some really solid rewards. Because right now, the best reward we've gotten from Conquest is 88 overall Ty Cobb from the United States map. And let's be real, that Ty Cobb was cool for a second. 
but you know he's not the best card in the game I mean he's got 110 117 contact with 125 vision no fielding pretty much no speed I mean 66 speed for a right fielder is not terrible but like you know you get what I'm saying like there's a lot better options you can get on the field other than this Ty Cobb so hopefully by the next conquest board it's a lot better and there's a lot more or for conquest extreme there's going to be a lot better rewards because that's basically what I want at this point I'm tired of conquest not having player rewards attached to it man like we've got a bat skin we got um the Jackie Robinson stuff like the nameplate but like we're we're Where's the players at, man? Where's the Keith Hernandez's and stuff like that? So yeah, guys, hopefully those tips help you beat the fourth inning conquest board. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, once you kind of get the idea, it's not that difficult. I'm currently sitting at 224 stars. I got the voucher. I completed all the moments. I completed the Griffey moments. I completed the fourth inning conquest. I still got to win my 10 games for another 30 stars. I got some daily missions to do. So there's still a lot of ways I can earn some stars, and I'll hopefully have my uh, boss by the end of the weekend here, and um, I'll have a debut with them up soon. So yeah. Um, let me know down in the comments if this helped you. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave your questions down there. I'll try my best to answer them. But hopefully, overall, this video did help you. But anyway, guys, drop the thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on MLB The Show. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.